Hi guys, Dennis from Canoe Hound Adventures here. Well, finally, after <laughs> a long anticipated wait uh, with all this COVID stuff, I'm finally getting out for my maiden voyage of 2020. Uh, it's a day that I've been kind of battling uh, some rain and uh, some drizzly weather, but uh, the sun's starting to come out. The skies are starting to blue up a little bit. And we're gonna go out here on a local waterway that we have and just gonna get out there and enjoy a bit of fun. Uh, I got Molly with me, of course, and we are going to uh, try maybe throwing a few casts and just uh, taking some of this beauty out here. So, uh, hope you enjoy the ride. Well, here we are. We're finally out here. This is long overdue, man. I've been wanting this for so long. It's just uh, starting to turn out to be really nice today. The temperature is very comfortable. I'm actually uh, sweating here with my life, uh, my life vest on. And... I'll take it. I'll take it. It could be pouring rain and I'd probably still be out here. But uh, as I mentioned, I'm on a local waterway. This is the uh, the Welland River. Uh, runs uh, through the town of Welland, Ontario. And it's uh, nestled on one side by the mainland and then on the, uh, on, on the other side over here, this is actually uh, Merritt Island. And it's a, a popular hiking trail, a hiking area where a lot of people come out and, uh, you know, get their, their fitness in. And on this side here is basically the east side of Welland. So it's kind of nice that we actually have this here. The only, the only trade-off is, is that uh, because it's a public waterway, like most are, we do get some boat traffic. Uh, guys will come out here with their little uh, boats and stuff and do a little bit of fishing. But you know what? They're entitled to that too. If I want to get seclusion, I kind of got to go up north. So um, we're just going to paddle along here. I see a couple of other kayakers coming up my direction now. We'll say hi to them, but in the meantime, hope you guys enjoy the ride. Well, seeing as I'm uh, on the Welland River, I might as well tell you a little bit about it here. The Wallen River runs through uh, through the heart of Wallen um, and is separated by the Wallen Canal, which runs off uh, which runs parallel on the right hand side of us here. Uh, straight ahead, you could actually see uh, City Hall or the old courthouse building and part of uh, the new town hall. And I'm paddling up to what's called the Aqueduct, and the Aqueduct is a uh, a tunnel system that goes under the Welland Canal, which connects the west side of the Welland River and the east side of the Welland River uh, through tunneling underneath the Welland Canal. Uh, all this water here in, in this uh, particular river will eventually flow into the hydroelectric dam system that uh, feeds Niagara Falls, the Niagara Falls Power Station. So yeah, just a little bit of interesting uh, information. So this ahead of us is the actual aqueduct, aqueduct, which is the tunneling system that goes underneath the Welland Canal, or what is now the Welland Recreational Canal, and it connects the east and the west sides of the Welland River. And it's a tunneling system that goes right underneath. It's a pretty neat system, uh, something really cool that they thought of in order to uh, continue the aqueduct, or the uh, Welland River when they built the Welland Canal through. A lot of, it's a very popular spot here. A lot of people come here fishing. Uh, we'll fish from up at the uh, rafters. See there's a gentleman over there on the left-hand side fishing the wall right now. And uh, yeah, you can get some uh, pretty cool fish out of here. And that's why people come here, because it's local, easy to access, and uh, good little fishing hole.
now we're headed east down the uh, Walland River. We're going to be heading towards the Woodlawn Bridge and then continue past that down to uh, Highway 406 Bridges and then the Trillium Railway Train Bridge. So we got a good little paddle ahead of us, but who's in a hurry? Nobody. So we're just uh, we're just paddling along here, and yeah, Molly decided that she wanted to come and cozy up to Dad. So she jumped over to Gunnels and cuddling right in here with Daddy. That's my puppy. Yeah, I saw the tell by the. Imagine that running into a buddy out here fishing. This is uh, Rick, the fishing magician. Canadian, what is it, Canadian Bassin? Canadian Bassin. On Instagram? On Instagram. You got your YouTube channel going yet? Slow. Yeah? I can't produce enough content. <laughs> You're always out here fishing, man. I know. I know. I'm terrible at editing. Eh, don't have to be good. You should have watched my program last night. It was and, on uh, editing. Yeah, you were on last night, which is weird. Yeah. Because usually on Tuesday nights. Yeah. So coming up ahead is the Woodlawn, uh, Woodlawn Bridge. So you can see there's vehicle access to that. So now we're getting into the, uh, the nicer part of the Welland River. Down this end, uh, a little more seclusion, a little quieter, not as many uh, man-made obstacles kicking around. Shoreline is very nice, scenic. All the birds are just chirping. Nice. This is what I've been waiting for. So here we are, we're coming up on the 406 bridges and beyond that is the uh, Trillium Railway Bridge. We'll get right up to those, I think.
Well guys, thanks for, uh, for joining me here. We're uh, coming to an end of the uh, the paddle for the day. I'm gonna go home and have myself some supper. And uh, I'm just so glad I finally got to get out here and get on the water. So nice out here. Uh, the day really turned out to be a really nice day. Cleared up quite a bit. And just, yeah, just <laughs> good for the soul. Good for the soul for sure. So, you know, been at this now for about a year and a half with uh, with YouTube and I just want to say that uh, all my subscribers you guys are awesome you know uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for, for making my channel what it is I know there's a lot to improve on um, I'm just hoping that I make good content for you guys and uh, enough to keep you guys interested in the channel and, and coming back for more so if you haven't already though, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd, I'd much appreciate it if you hit that red button and turn it gray and hit the bell notifications. And hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, this will be probably my first video in a little series of uh, urban paddling adventures. Uh, I got a few creeks and rivers around here that I wouldn't mind paddling on. And just showing you what we've got in the area that I, uh, I call home, right? So if you want to see a little more of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment below. You know, I, I really like to, uh, to read your comments and it helps improve and it, uh, it just shows interactive uh, relations between us. So leave me a comment below, good or bad, hopefully good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Anyways, uh, this is Dennis from Canoe Hound Adventures saying, remember people, keep the adventures alive, stay safe and healthy. And best of all, stay happy. Peace out.